Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at a freeware plane that's been available for some time but I have not actually had the pleasure of flying yet. This is the Vertigo from Got Gravel. It is available on flightsim.to. I'll put a link in the video description. And as you can see, it is a modification on the VL3, the stock VL3, which gets 130 knots and has a range of 690 nautical miles. The Vertigo has a cruise speed of 350 knots and a range of 1,200 nautical miles. Uh, I already have a souped up VL3 here. You can see the 915. This is a real version. Uh, that is, it is a real plane that's out there as a cruise speed of 200 knots. It does have just a souped up engine and it works fairly well. Now we've got this Vertigo. I mean, we've had this Vertigo for a while. Uh, is it a real plane? Not exactly. It is inspired by Mike Patty's Turbulence, which has the same engine that they have in here. It is a 850 horsepower engine, which is a lot of power to put into this particular chassis. Now, the actual turbulence looks a bit different. I mean, uh, it sort of looks like a VL3, except the front end is extended because you need room for the huge engine, right? And it has the extra range because if you have the huge engine in front, you sort of need to counterbalance it. So one way of doing that is with the fuel tanks. Uh, so enlarging the fuel tanks is one way to go about uh, keeping the balance a bit. So yeah, it, it sort of exists, but not exactly like this. The shape of it's rather different. So this is, well, it is a freeware plane. So I mean, they're not going to remodel everything for us. But I guess the question is, how does it fly, right? I mean, does this fly even remotely realistically how I would expect it to? Well, we are going to find out. And we have quite a lot of liveries to choose from. There is that. And of course, it'll be a fun plane to fly as long as it doesn't go completely out of control. I mean, it's fast. It has good range. What more do you want? Uh, so let's take a look at it. I'll just take the default livery here. We'll make sure it's fully fueled as we take off. Uh, so this is close to its maximum takeoff weight. And I will take off from San Francisco. Okay, so here it is, the Vertigo. And of course, it's the regular cockpit for the VL3. Um, outside, it looks like this. And again, the Turbulence would have a much more extended front end here. Uh, this, uh, this does seem to have a lot of power. <laughs> anyway, let's let's give it a try. It breaks off. I I'm still on, uh, on 25% throttle. Um, it, uh, I'm going to go to full thrall now. And I'm using a bunch of rudder. And of course we can get off the ground here. Uh, so, um, I better pull back just so that I can raise the flaps without killing them. I broke the flaps on a lot of planes in X-Plane 11. I don't think I've done so in Flight Sim. I don't know if that's a thing or not, even. Uh, going over speed on the flaps. Maybe I've just been lucky, but... So... I'm only at 50% throttle here. And... Of course we're going down a bit, but we're at 250 knots. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's uh, gonna be a little bit hard to trim it. I'm still at 50% on my physical throttle. I have a physical throttle. And we're going nearly 300 knots here. It might not need the 850 horsepower, just saying. <laughs> um, well, okay, it's it's reasonably easy to control even at 300 knots. Uh, though it's it's wobbling a bit, you can see. It's buffeting a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna push it to full throttle. And we gotta hit that yellow zone pretty quick. It has a pressurized cabin. Oh, well, not the greatest day in the Bay Area to be flying here. Basically, at 75% throttle, I can hold 350 knots here. And it's jiggling around a bit. Okay, well, let's rock it up. I'm sick of this weather. So, full throttle. 
but yeah, uh, no problem holding 14,000 or 15,000 feet per minute at a constant speed. Its service ceiling was supposed to be 31,000 feet. Uh, true airspeed down there is 430 knots right now. Now, as far as fast propeller planes go, I wish somebody would make the Hughes H1, which actually across the country with decent speed and only one tank of gas in a little bit less than eight hours. This can't uh, quite match that. It's got the speed. It's got plenty of speed, but it can't quite match the range. And of course the Hughes H1 is a classic, it's from the 1930s. It's also rather dangerous, but uh, that would be a nice one. I was fond of it. Uh, there was an Aerosoft version for FSX that I liked. Crashed a lot of times in that plane. It's really hard to land the Hughes H1 because of its landing gear. If you see a picture of it, you'll understand. We gotta head to Sacramento here. And yeah, our ground speed is 463 knots. Now, where is our fuel? I always have trouble finding the fuel tanks. But we do have a fuel switcher here. Um, it might be good to have it on left and right. I I don't know if that worked right. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think switching the fuel tank did not work the way I thought it would. Yeah, and it turns out that the closed tanks is on the way between left and right there. I haven't pl uh, flown the VL3 in a while, so I don't know if this is exactly the same as it is in the stock one. Well, I think we can be satisfied with the general performance of this plane. Uh, let's see about slowing down and landing. Uh, in the... On the... Flightsim.to page, it said that we could use the first stage of flaps as an air brake under 180 knots, so we'll try to do that, but... Um, the regular air brake control doesn't do anything. At idle, we can descend at a fairly fast rate, despite the lack of air brakes. This plane is certainly capable of aerobatics. So we'll try and land at Sacramento here. Let's try and follow the highway. Uh, it looks like Sort of messed up photogrammetry. I guess maybe Sacramento's a photogrammetry city? Not sure. We're only at 230 knots right now. Gosh, where is, where is like Sacramento proper here anyway? I guess we're heading into it over there. Ah. Okay, now, now it's seriously looking like Sacramento. Yeah, it's jostling around a lot. 
as we get slower, in fact. Okay, we can put some flaps down now. Heater down. Hopefully that's okay at 150 knots. Okay, well there's the runway. Yeah, I wonder what it takes to have a gear or flap overspeed failure in flight sim. Still try to re-trim because we have been going so fast, it's very different at these speeds. Now, what constitutes a landing speed for this thing? Okay, well, we're going off to one side here. Well, it's less than that. This was so like 70 knots, actually. No, we had a tailwind there. Okay, well, we're at a stop. Let's take a look at the mass of this compared to the others. Okay, so the empty weight of this version is 1,250 pounds. Uh, for the 915, it's a meter 794 pounds. And the uh, base stock VL3, just 639 pounds. So they did add extra mass to it. Uh, to compensate for the engine and other equipment. So it is legit in that respect. I guess it doesn't perform uh, too weirdly at altitude, but man, there's a lot of power. I'm, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I f it's like a guilty pleasure. I feel guilty, a little bit guilty flying it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so anyway, that's the Vertigo, and I'll link it in the video description. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.